if someone was recording that, that click, that reminds me of when we were doing Tears for Souvenirs, Ken Dodd, do you remember? Well, it's still about, but he had a record. And when they were mixing it, Wally Ridley said, what's that? And wind back and they played this bit and they went, Tears for Souvenirs. He said, there. And Tony Clark said, well, it's not on the bass, it's not on the brass, it's not on the strings. And eventually they found out that it was on the bass drum microphone, where Ronnie Beryl, dear Ron, I'll be with you in a few years, he uh, was listening to a test match <laughs> with, his, with his little radio with the white thing in his ear. And as soon as Wally Ridley said, uh, okay, uh, rolling, Ron took the thing out and the microphone fell right by the bass drum mic. <laughs> and when they put all the faders up, you heard, <laughs> both of them's out. <laughs> And they left it on the record. Not, not, not high. But it's worth going out and seeing if you can get a copy of it. That's dear Ronnie Farrell, who also went to the doctors and said, uh, can you have a look? And the doctor made him kneel up and said, yeah, you've got just uh, occupational hazard disorder. Uh, the big H, we call it. What's your job? He said, I'm a drummer. He said, what's your stall like? He said, well, it's a tartan, that's <laughs> three crown legs. Can you believe the world's greatest drummer will do that? And I know he doesn't mind me telling you. <laughs> a few more hints, all right? I mean, this is just... It's not unusual to be to do do do. <laughs> but the big one, and I've got no money for it apart from the recording session because John Major's government said, well, PPL, that's the performing person's layabout bastards. <laughs> uh, we're not going to go that far back to find out who played on record, so. Uh, we'll only go back to 1993. <coughs> so, I've got nine quid for that. <laughs> and congratulations. <laughs> loads and loads of songs. But you only did them once, and you did six in an hour, <coughs> or six in three hours, six in an hour if it was a demo session. And if there was time left over, the musician or a group of us would go to the sound engineer and say, yeah, it's a fiver. Can we have the studio till five o'clock? Roger Cook and Roger Greenaway said, yeah, that's a bloody good idea. And Cookie had written a song, and Madeline Bell, lovely, lovely, dear, sweet, darling lady, and we all still phone each other. And Cookie said, well, I've got this. Take a pinch of white, man. And Cookie said, yeah, that's good. The bass, not just playing. He said, well, I'm an old jazzer. I play what I like. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap it up in black skin. And it got to number two in the charts. But now it has been banned by the BBC because it's not considered PC for there to be a lion in it, curly black and kinkies, mixed with yellow chinkies. I mean, can you believe it? After 40 years of <coughs> doing it, they even flew us out to LA to do it on Soul Train. And when we got there, the floor manager came up and says, uh, we're going to have to lip sync the, uh, just the uh, coloured lady doing it. Why? Well, this program's a sole program and we're financed by our sponsors. And if they see a white guy with long hair holding a black lady's hand and kissing her, singing about shagging, 
they're not going to like it very much. <laughs> so we came home, and I got home, and I went in the door, and my wife said, where have you been? And to this day, she's never believed me that Blue Mink flew out there. They even gave us a bag of grass that J.J. Barry went in the toilet and wouldn't come out <laughs> for an hour and a half. He said the, the limo was waiting. And when he did come out, he was wrapped up in two solid rolls of orange toilet paper <laughs> and got in the taxi. So we were really doomed. But at least we got to the hay. <laughs> and we were there when Elton John, who announced us as England's new band, and it was great, we'd just done a load of recording for Reg. He was our office boy, that's why we call him Reg. Uh, we sent him to Old Street Fire Station to get a list of next week's fires. <laughs> and they did. <laughs> and they did. He was there all day. He was only 16. 